So your school is from Saint Joseph School. Yes, sir. So that is near Ram Mandir, yes. which is popularly called Convent School. Convent. So how does uh, your school compare with Loyola School? So, so both are uh, very old schools in Odisha, in case of ICC schools, and both have produced very good results in class 10th uh, ICC results since the past 15-20 years as far as I have some idea and I, I can recall and for my school it has in the east zone at least uh, our students have scored in the first top two ranks in ICC 10th but so one feature of comparison goes to class 12th where Loyola is a bit ahead of our school or else if you compare class 10th and other curriculums uh, we both are equally good and our school has is, uh, much more uh, in the last few years it has produced much more good results. So it is said which may be true or may not be true that ICC school students are more sound in humanities and CBSC students in science and mathematics. What is your take on that or to Add to that, why is the present trend more towards CBSE? Sir, uh, according to me, that I have studied personally, and to my point of view, ICC is really a bit vast and it's very comprehensive, uh, covers very comprehensive kind of studies, including social uh, studies like geography, history. We have much more uh, like advanced and huge syllabus compared to CBSE, but uh, our science parts are also very strong as far as I have experienced and I am myself a science student. So I can definitely uh, give credit to the foundations I have in the in my school class 10th, which helped me also in plus two and other my engineering background. So but as of now, if we see because the trend is going like uh, most of the students are preparing for IIT JEs and uh, engineering exams. That's where there is a trend for, uh, like, there is a, we can say, a more inclination towards CBSE pattern of examination. Uh, but so for this, uh, also my suggestion would be like, uh, for the ICC schools, my personal experience is like, we should little bit reduce the syllabus. It's not that we should eliminate few subjects. We should definitely reduce few, uh, few syllabus. The burden is a bit high compared to the CBSE students. And apart from that, I guess uh, there is uh, not uh, anything we need to change in ICC schools. Plus, uh, the national uh, NEP policy 2020 and we suggest a good uh, holistic curriculum which will be applicable to all schools. So, so there won't be any much comparison or differences between the CBSE and ICC schools left. So, students opt for one of the optional languages like Hindi or Odia. So what was your choice? So in school? In school. So my second language was Odia, third language was Hindi. And we had Hindi till class 8. After that uh, we didn't have Hindi. So it is said that uh, the grounding of English medium schools in people's languages or if you can put it as vernacular languages is not that uh, strong. So in that sense, they are uh, organically disconnected from ground reality because the language is a vast container of cultural vitamin and heritage. So what do you think about that? So as far as I have studied uh, and all the syllabus of my school, we had extensive subjects on Odia, like essays, summaries and everything we have studied. And we are, it has really helped me also while during this preparation and during this syllabus of OCS where I had encountered few essay subjects and where I used to practice. So I used to follow my class 
books class 10th and 9th books to study about odia essays and different kinds of essays uh, so personally i don't feel that being studying in a uh, like in a english medium school has distanced me from my roots or like that i have definitely kept it in intact while even if studying in uh, icc or english medium school. so you were in bengaluru from 19 to 32 yes sir so have you ever visited koshi's parade That's again sir koshi koshi's parade a popular restaurant in bengaluru so actually so i say the great writers of india who writes in english is now based at bengaluru who is he very well known writer in contemporary india internationally famous internationally famous in bangalore yes. yes he is originally a tamil had his education in delhi and done school but now they start bangalore all writing about history geography economics sorry politics contemporary you are a student of economics he writes on cricket mm. he writes by the way for moment He writes on Gandhi ecology. So he is Ramachandra Guha. Acha, I see. Kuch. Have you read any of his books? Uh, no, sir. During my like preparation for my optional subject, I've come across some few of his theories regarding. So this is not to discourage you and uh, your other friends in technology. So why is that many technology students are migrating to civil service and opting for? political science and international relations so uh, political science and international relations i am not sure how many technology students are opting but personally even before starting preparation for civil services i had already i already see videos in youtube regarding like international affairs and politics international politics and i was really fascinated by that thing and before uh, like uh, i was also reading a lot of newspapers so this these part were always fascinating to me like uh, international relations affairs theories and the relations between great countries and all and while starting the preparation when i actually got into the real study like the syllabus and all uh, what was all there so it really fascinated me more so and from school time to be very honest i was uh, like my favorite subject was uh, civics and more than history so i used to love civics more like the political system and uh, rest other things uh, which are in there in the psir subject okay how are you going to go to for me sir call me okay thank you sir okay here